Why does therapy work sometimes? Maybe a lot of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. One of the keys is understanding ego states. After doing hypnosis for over 50 years, I'm still amazed by things that I keep discovering, how vast the field of hypnosis is. One of the things in hypnosis that I work with a lot, something called ego states, will be discussed a little bit later in this video. But I used to, as a hypnotherapist, draw this conclusion that many problems people had, many issues, were due to ego states. Now I've come to the conclusion that's not true. It seems like all issues are ego state issues that must be addressed. Now let's be clear on this point. We all have subpersonalities, whether they're called subpersonalities or parts or ego states. It is mainstream in psychology now that we have about five to 15 ego states that we use in our daily life. We have different parts that do different tasks. We are actually communities and we are committees. This is completely normal and only one at a time will be what we call executive. Now when an ego state is executive, it's the one running the show. It's the one that's connected to your uh, prefrontal cortex here and it's burned into your brain as a neural pathway. When you point at yourself, guess what? You're pointing at an ego state and right now you're listening to me with an ego state. Only one at a time is running the show and a stronger one can push out a weaker one. We'll see this when people's moods change very suddenly. A different ego state has become executive. Now these five to 15 that run our daily life are the ones used most commonly. For all different tasks, they have different voices, they have different mannerisms, different facial expressions and so on. And you'll start to notice this if you're only hearing about ego states now. You'll notice this in your daily life. But we also have about 100 to 150 other ego states that don't become executive very often. But the normal ones are, you might have an ego state that's a really good driver and that's the one that drives your car. And on an off day, you might have the wrong ego state executive and you're a lousy driver that day and don't know why. You might have an ego state that often tells you that you're hungry, and that's pretty common. One will say, time to go and eat something. And when you wind up in the kitchen and you can't remember why you went in, the ego state that sent you into the kitchen is not the one that showed up there. You have an ego state that tells you that you're tired and you should go to bed. That's its job. They all have jobs. And if you're good at a sport, you'll have an ego state that is good at that particular sport. When you play the sport, that one will become executive. But if the wrong one does, you'll have a bad day with your sport. You just won't be good at it because the wrong state, the skilled one, hasn't become executive. Now, why does therapy work sometimes? Maybe a lot of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. One of the keys is understanding ego states. Even when you do therapy correctly, whether you're doing something like hypnotherapy, NLP, one of the tapping regimens, it doesn't matter. If you do it correctly, but the wounded, the damage, the sad, hurt, whatever ego state is not executive, you won't get the result. Unless the ego state that is damaged, we say vaded, invaded by fear, anger, sadness, trauma, if that one isn't the one that's present, you're talking about an ego state, you're not helping that ego state, and those are the times that therapy doesn't work. So think about it. If you want therapy to work well, the key is you must get the wounded, damaged ego state to be executive, whether it's a phobic ego state or one that's anxious or has any kind of problem. It must be executive, but how are you gonna get it there? The key is you must feel it in your body what that thing is. Say you have a fear of snakes, you don't wanna be working on it by saying, yeah, I saw a snake once, okay, we do this phobia cure, oh, I still got it. No, you wanna say, what is it like when I feel that fear of snakes? Start to get a sense of it in your physical body. And when you feel that emotion, it means that that wounded ego state has become executive and now is the time to treat it. If you're a therapist, make sure that your client's damaged ego state is executive by checking that they can feel the problem so you can start working to heal it. You must make it executive. We say, if you can feel it, you can heal it. We use the emotions and the feelings, which Freud called the effect bridge, to bring it to the executive, and then we apply the therapy. And if you don't believe this, that's probably an ego state issue too, because you probably have an ego state somewhere that's listening and knows that I'm right. Remember to hit the subscribe button for more of these videos and ring the bell so you'll know when new ones come out.